Hey guys, Dave here. Today we're making up some ever so easy, simple, and not to mention economic chicken pesto pasta. Yes, it's one pan and can be made in about 30 minutes. Great midweek meal, so let me show you how to do this. We're going to start off here with about two cups of bow tie noodles and we're going to cook these in boiling water for about 10 to 12 minutes. Now I'm using bow tie noodles. You don't have to. You can use any kind of noodles you want. I just thought these were kind of fancy. After they're all cooked and strained, I add about a tablespoon of olive oil and give them a stir to stop that stick togetherness that pasta always does. Next up, what you want to do is get a pan heated up over medium high heat and add in a tablespoon of olive oil. Then in with two boneless skinless chicken breasts that I've cut into bite sized chunks. Now I'm using boneless skinless, but you know, you can use whatever cut of chicken you like. Season them up with two or three pinches of salt and in my pitchometer, that's about a teaspoon or so. About the same amount of ground black pepper, I mean, you be the boss. A teaspoon or two of Italian seasoning that I use on everything and love so much. Then for that extra little oomph and heat, about half a teaspoon of hot pepper flakes. It's entirely up to you how hot you want it, but I find half a teaspoon is great. Give everything a quick stir until that seasoning completely covers the chicken. And if you watched any of my videos, guys, you know this is usually the time where I begin to say this is starting to smell so good, and indeed it is. And of course, as the chicken cooks, you want to give it that flip and flop and that extra little bit of TLC just to make sure it's happy and cooked well. After our chicken is fairly well cooked up, we are going in with half a small chopped onion and three cloves of chopped garlic. About half a cup of frozen peas. You don't have to use peas. You can use a veggie of your choice. I just like the texture of peas. Give everything a good stir and we'll just saute this until that wonderful smell of garlic fills the air and that onion is a little bit translucent. And again, guys, this is smelling oh so good. That smell of onion garlic is just filling the air and everybody is happy as a lark. Okay, now back in with that bow tie pasta or whatever pasta you're using. The star of the show, have a cup of basil pesto. Mm -mm. You can make this from scratch, but yeah, I just find it easier to buy it. Grab up about three or four sun-dried tomatoes. Of course, give them a chop. And just go ahead and add these guys in. I just love sun-dried tomatoes. Then a few cherry tomatoes that I've cut in half. And remember, tomatoes are healthy. Of course, we're going to grab up a couple of utensils and give everything a good toss together. Oh, just look at these colors coming together, guys. Plate our ever so delicious chicken pesto pasta up. Say that fast, chicken pesto pasta. Chicken pesto pasta. That's hard. All joking aside, guys, this looks absolutely incredible. I don't know about you, but I think so. And there you have it, guys, our chicken pesto pasta. As I said in the beginning of the video, it's easy, economical, and fit for a king. Simply a must-make. Serve this up with a garden salad or whatever you like as a side dish, and you will not be disappointed. And when you bite into this, my friends, it is absolutely spectacular. That pesto, the chicken is tender. The seasoning, that those sun-dried tomatoes, that pop of freshness from the cherry tomatoes, it is just great. It is certainly, as I said before, a must-make. And if you're hungry for more, subscribe.